didn't really start off trying to change healthcare. I just saw a problem in my everyday experience as an anesthesiologist and I wanted to fix it. I always noticed that there were problems in getting patients ready for surgery and it always bothered me. I saw a woman and she was in the pre-op holding area. She had an IV in her hand and they had to cancel her case because it was missing a, a specific test and she had a lack of authorization. The woman was crying, was very upset. It was then that I knew something needed to change. I started to dig into the details and found that billions of dollars were wasted every year on unnecessary preoperative tests and consults. So I thought there really had to be a better way. I met a programmer that I knew at uh, a local pub and we would go over uh, how we would build it and the effect that we could have in the community. We both believed in the mission. Since that time, it's taken complete commitment for myself, my family, colleagues, but looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. The stumbling block along the way has always been a lack of interoperability. What we're doing with Cerner has changed our perspective on perioperative healthcare. It's enabled us to provide our application to those who need it most and where and when they need it within their workflow. I think when we look at where we are today, capturing all this data uh, over the upcoming years is gonna be about how do you utilize that data. So I think we're gonna see some predictive analytics and modeling in a way that we can't even imagine right now. The future of healthcare is really exciting. The way that the healthcare industry is opening up I believe is good for healthcare, it's good for innovation, and most importantly, it's good for patients. The fact that Cerner is driving this kind of work is really exciting, and we are going to change healthcare. I'm Dr. David Bergman, and I'm igniting change.